how to save an interest. No, there is a lot of things that people will say about you need to save more money to be able to invest than you have enough money. But I'm here today to give you a real practical that's going to help you to be able to save enough money to be able to invest, then you'll be able to become rich and have enough to spend. So you have to stay with me to watch this video to the end because I'm going to share everything and you're going to get all the value in one video. My name is Fola, I'm a coach. I coach women on how to overcome limiting belief and barrier that was placed on them. Because as a woman, you need to be who God has called you to be. You need to live the life that you desire. It's not who society wants you to be. It's who God wants you to be and what you want for yourself. So you must subscribe to this channel to be able to watch more of my video because this channel is all about to motivate you, to encourage you and to share a lot of useful information for you. So subscribe now, click the bell, like the video and share. Let's get more money and new face. You know, they say a lot of things about this, but today I'm bringing for you the real practical that you can you can relate to it. Then you'll be able to have enough money and save and be able to invest. Okay. First thing they will tell you is that you cut down your expenses. But there are two categories of people I want to talk about, and I want you to check yourself which category do you belong to. Okay, the first category of people I want to talk about is for those who don't have enough money to save. Like they have to pay their bill, they have to clothing, they have to buy food for themselves, they have to do so many things for themselves. So they are managing everything they have. So they cannot even have enough to do all those things. So how are they going to save? So they can't cut their expenses because they don't have enough money. So that's the first category. So if you belong to this category that you know you are still struggling, you know you don't have enough money, you know the one you have, you are managing yourself, and they told you to continue to cut the expenses, then you can save. So if you belong to this category, leave your comments below, let me know. And I got a solution for you. I got for you what you're going to do that will help you to be able to save, to invest, and you have it. So the second category of people is for those who have enough but they spend anyhow. For those who have enough they spend anyhow, what are you going to do? You just have to cut down the expenses, okay? Cut the one you can cut. So the one you know you cannot cut, just let it be. But the one you know you can cut, cut it, save that money, then you start to invest. So how can you? Let me let me just give you more enlightenment. The first category of people, the second category of people, which one do you belong to? Let me know. Leave your comments down below. So you can go to your bank and ask them for your for the what's they call it for reports on how you spend your money, maybe weekly or monthly. They're supposed to send it to you, right? But if they didn't send it to you, just go there and ask for it. They will give you all the details, what you buy with your money, what you spend your money on, how do you spend your money. So when you got this to the post, then you sit yourself down and look at it. Do you have anything that you know you don't need to spend money on and you are spending money on it? Okay? You just have to figure it out because you have the report already so when you figure it out you say that okay this one i'm buying this every month and i think i don't need it now so i can hold on for this and i will start to buy it later you can cost that one okay this one i'm buying too much i need to reduce the one i'm buying and the money i'm spending on this one then you cut that one also you have another one that you don't know you can't cut it because you can't do without it so you cut the one that you can do without so through that to be able to know which category do you belong to or do you belong to a category of people that don't have anything to cut because they are managing themselves they, they don't have enough they are struggling they are doing their best or you belong to the second category who have enough and they are spending more and more so which one are you which category do you belong to. So you just have to figure it out. So when you know the category that you belong to, don't forget to subscribe, leave your comment, and let me know what you think about this video. Okay, let's continue. So when you know the category that you belong to, then that is when you start to look for solution. So what is that solution? 
So there are three categories of people. I've shared, okay? So which category do you belong to? So if you belong to the first category that you don't have enough, you are struggling, you are managing yourself, you are trying your best, that even the one you have is not enough for what you need to do. So what how are you going to be able to do? You can't cut anything and you want to start saving, you want to start to invest, you want to have more money, you don't want to be poor anymore. What are you going to do? You need to have extra income. That is it. You need what? You need to have extra income, multiple source of income. And I have a video about this. Long time ago, I made a video about it. So just click the next video that's going to appear or check the description below or just look up here, something that's going to show up. Click on that video to be able to watch about how to have multiple source of income. What can you do? Okay, to have multiple source of income. Do you need to do some business? Do you need to go and learn a new skill? Do you need to get more knowledge? Do you need to get more certificate courses done and you'll be able to monetize them? Do you have any gift that you can monetize? Okay? You know all those apps that we use nowadays, they pay a lot of money for many people because they monetize what they have. So what gift do you have? What can you do better than anybody? What can you do that you forget to eat your food? What can you do that you forget to check the time? What can you do that you have so much energy that people are just like, wow, you know how to do this best? What can you do that people will say, wow, you are the best. I wish you, I can do this like you. Okay, you need to look inside of you. What gift do you have? Can you talk, okay? Or you want to be at the behind of the camera? Do you know how to write very well? Okay, so just go and get a knowledge, go and read an article, go and read the book, go and get a coach, get a mentor, anything that you need to do to be able to build yourself, to be able to update yourself, to be able to get better, then you can do better. So that is how to have extra income. Do you have anything, any knowledge that you can monetize? Okay, do you have anything that you can be able to add value to other people? Do you have any story that you want to go? Do, you know, just figure it out, okay? Get someone to help you and connect with different type of people, like-minded people, people that, you know, people that have that can motivate you, that can educate you, people that can encourage you, people that can inspire you. Like this channel, this is where you're supposed to be, okay? Those, that is what you need, to be able to have multiple sources of income because you can't cut your expenses. So how are you going to have? You need multiple sources of income. You need to have more stream of income, okay? For those second category that you have, like you have so many things that you can cut, you know, maybe all those things is not necessary, you don't need them, it's not useful, you just have to figure it out after you know what you need to do. So then you can start to cut all those things down, then you start to save those money, then you can start to invest. So it's not only about to cut things down, you can also have multiple sources of income to be able to save as much as you can save. And the last thing I'm going to share, which is going to be a bonus to this video, is that you need to go and learn about money. Money is not meant to be spent. Money is meant to be invested. Not only to save, okay? I said money is not meant to be spent. Money is meant to be invested. I say that again. Money is meant to be invested, okay? So when you go, go and learn about the money, go and read books. There are a lot of books about money that will educate you, that will teach you what you need to do with your money. It's not only to save the money. The most important thing is to invest that money. That is it. So you cannot just continue to save and save and save and think the money is going to be much. You are going to get more. No, you have to invest that money. And to invest is not easy. Please do your research very well so that you not be scammed by anybody. But you have to take a risk because this life is all about the risk. You can't be successful without taking any risk, but you have to calculate your risk before you take that risk, okay? So I hope this video really helped you to be able to invest, to be able to save, and to have enough money. And you need to change your mindset. You need to be around people that like-minded, like I said before. So don't forget to leave your comments. 
what do you think about this video which category are you are you the first one or the second one what are you going to start to do starting from now because if you watch this video for this minute and you cannot do anything definitely you just waste your time so you have to do something you have to figure it out then you'll be able to see the transformation you want to see in your life thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe like and share the video thank you